welcome to the Tiny House Ideas podcast. Well, one of the people that has been, you know, Margaret Thatcher, yes, you know, four hours a night, and, and and Edison, you know, barely slept if you hear if you if you believe the 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 hype around it. But I've been to Edison's house where he did all of the work, where he did the uh, the uh, you know the light bulb and, and all of those experiments, and and there's, there's so many interesting examples of effortlessness in that in the way that he designed uh, his home. First of all. Uh, that he and um, and Henry Ford built houses next to each other, winter, winter houses in Florida, so that they could easily be together, collaborate, talk, and so on. They wanted it to be easy. That's how they made it. Easy. Yeah. Uh, it, it um, Edison was famous for like he didn't believe in like loads of physical stressful work at all, like exercise. He believed that your body was a vehicle for your brain to go from place to place. So he okay. was like super relaxed about any physical activity uh, yeah. in his study where he, those experiments were going on he had a, a mattress he would take naps all the time on it so this idea that he never slept doesn't do justice to the reality the story has lived on There's you know, more the to liars it. made it halfway around the world before the truth gets out of bed you know to use that mm. quote and 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 that's true for this so so yeah i mean he was doing a lot to maintain an effortless state effortless action and the the and uh and effortless results as i mentioned definitely definitely and that's the thing it's, it's something that sort of um can be applied to sort of so many so many people that have been successful and so many people that are and and, and just sort of everyday people that are sort of able to to heighten their um the, the value that they give just just by purely being able to to sort of cut out everything and cut out all the noise and and just just focus which is which is obviously something that you touch on a lot um um in the first book and i am sort of really really excited to to be um to be to be reading the second book as well and i look forward to that coming out have you got any sort of um insight into um, anything in terms of dates the people listening will be listening to this in around march so yeah they, they, they'll be able, oh here's what here's what anybody listening to this should, should do the um seriously like the, there's if they go to essentialism.com they can take a 21 day essentialism challenge yes i saw um, that they yeah can, they, they can buy it they want to buy it but they if they want it for free they can just pre-order it effortless and then they get the whole thing. And it has been so fun. We just barely launched it. And, uh, and we have people, you know, hundreds and hundreds of people already signed up uh, from all around the world. So so we, we literally from South Africa and from, from Belgium and from the UK and from uh, all throughout the US, but, but to Singapore. I mean, it's just been so fun to see all these people just like all yeah. over the world, you know, immediately stepping up for the challenge. And, uh, and so I think it's going to be, I actually think over, over the next few months it's going to be fascinating to see how broad it goes and how many people get involved um, definitely so so uh so yeah that that's what they can do so it comes out in april i don't know if i actually mentioned that april 27th i think is the date amazing uh, and, uh, and I, I i just i just think it's it helps to take the essentialist journey to the next level just yes read essentialism and then how do you how do you i mean start with each, either book i suppose but uh yeah i think they complement each other they're, they're you know hand in glove Thanks for watching this little teaser for the Tiny House Ideas podcast. If you'd like to listen to the full episode, it's available on all major streaming platforms, so that's Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, and all of the others. Alternatively, if you'd rather watch it sort of in, in a video format like this video has been, then that's available on Patreon. Just search for Tiny House Ideas. Um, so thanks again for watching. Please do check out the full episode. And thanks again.